When we work with algebraic fractions, we look for canceling opportunities. When we see something like this, we might be tempted to cancel the A's, like so, and maybe also cancel these C's, like so. This is not allowed. The A is part of a binomial, and the rule is you cannot cancel unless you can cancel the whole binomial. This is no good. But here's the same simplification, and we can see that the binomial on the top is A plus C, and that's the same as the one on the bottom. So we can cancel the entire binomial on the top with the one on the bottom, and this simplifies to equal 1. When we see this example here, we have A plus C on the top and C plus A on the bottom. And we can still cancel these because A plus C is equal to C plus A, in the same way that 3 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 3. So we can cancel top and bottom, and again, in this situation, our answer is 1. What do we do, though, when we have A minus C on the top and C minus A on the bottom? We can't cancel. Because A minus C is not the same as C minus A, and I'm going to prove that. If we decide to write our A minus C backwards, we have to put the C first. But our C is negative. We have to write negative C. The A is positive, so we can write plus A. And now we can see that what's on the top is not the same as what's on the bottom. We cannot cancel here. But there is a trick that we can do. We already know our common factor method, and we can remove a common factor of negative 1 from this binomial. If I factor out a negative 1, I get minus 1. a divided by negative 1 is negative a. Minus c divided by negative 1 is positive c. And this can be rewritten as negative 1 times c minus a just by choosing to put the C first. So now we see there's a trick where we can turn A minus C into C minus A, but if we do it, we have to factor out a negative 1, and we still have that negative 1. Let's try simplifying this expression now. A minus C, using the common factor method, becomes negative 1 times C minus A, the bottom is also C minus A, and the two binomials C minus A cancel. We still have our negative 1, so our final answer for this simplification is minus 1. This is the minus 1 trick. Whenever you want to turn a binomial with a subtraction backwards, all you have to do is factor out a negative 1, and then you're able to write A minus C as C minus A. The minus 1 trick is extremely useful when working with algebraic fractions because it provides you with a lot of cancelling opportunities like this one and allows you to more fully simplify your expression. Now let's use the minus 1 trick in a few examples. In the first example, I have b minus a squared on the top, a squared minus b on the bottom. I also have a b plus a squared on the top, and a squared plus b squared on the bottom. The only opportunity to use the minus 1 trick is with these two on the left. They are the reverse of each other, and if I decide to factor out a minus 1 from b minus a squared, I get a squared minus b. The b plus a squared will stay the same. and everything on the bottom will stay the same. Now, the a squared minus b cancels top and bottom, and my final answer is negative b plus a squared over a squared plus b squared. It's tempting to try to cancel things that are here, but these two binomials are not the same. 
b plus a squared is different because the b is not squared. On the bottom, a squared plus b squared, the b is squared. They are not the same binomial. This is the final answer. Here, we have two opportunities to use the minus one trick. And there's some flexibility about whether we do it on the top or the bottom, one of each. What I'll do is I'll factor negative one out of x minus y, and I get y minus x. The v minus w, I'll just leave as a v minus w on the top. If I factor of minus one from w minus v, I get v minus w on the bottom. The y minus x on the bottom, I'll leave the way it is. Now there's a lot of cancelling to do. I have a y minus x on the top and the bottom, so I cancel them. I have a v minus w on the top and the bottom, I cancel those. But I also have a minus 1 on the top and on the bottom, and I can cancel those as well. Is the final answer 0? No. Anything over itself is equal to 1. The final answer is 1. In the third example over here, I have three binomials on the top and three binomials on the bottom. I have three different opportunities to do the minus one trick. Again, I have flexibility about where I do it. This time, I'm going to do the minus one trick to all three of the binomials on the bottom. So the top stays the same. C minus D, E minus F, and S minus T. On the bottom, if I factor a negative one out of F minus E, I get E minus F. If I factor a negative 1 out of t minus s, I get s minus t. And if I factor a negative 1 out of d minus c, I get c minus d. I'm running out of room, and I'm getting messy, but there's my c minus d. Now I have some cancelling to do. The c minus d's cancel top and bottom. The e minus f's cancel top and bottom. The s minus t's cancel top and bottom, and now I have these three negative ones on the bottom that I have to combine. There's nothing left on the top except a 1. On the bottom, negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to positive 1. That gets rid of those two. There's still one more negative 1 left. I have to write it in. And of course, 1 divided by negative 1 is equal to our final answer, negative 1. This is how you use the minus one trick when you are trying to do cancelling in algebraic fractions.